Hi, good afternoon. Welcome back to Mama Sanity. Today is Thursday, March 21st, and I hope you're having a great day. It's a beautiful sunny day outside today. Um, today's material is going to cover a little bit about putting to rest the day that you're having and going to bed peacefully and starting off with a new day. I know I touched a little bit on that yesterday, um, but today we're going to continue with just letting the day go. So let's get started. I make the most of all that comes and the least of all that goes. Before you go to sleep, prayerfully put today to bed. Celebrate the blessings you have received and thank God for the special people who have stepped into your life this day. Ask his forgiveness for your failings and then let them go. Give over any worries into his capable hands. Refuse to regret your losses, but sleep peacefully, looking forward to a new day filled with beauty, abundance, and love. That's really good advice. You know, like I said yesterday, you want to lay your head down on the pillow knowing that you're letting go of all the mistakes that you made that day. You're letting go of all your worries and anxieties. You're letting go of all your strife. Um, there have been many nights where, you know, husbands and wives fight, parents and children fight, and at the end of the day, you keep replaying it in your mind and you keep thinking about it and thinking about it and then you stay up all night and you lose sleep. So the best thing to do is just let it go. The, the, the enemy wants you to keep replaying that movie over and over about your strife and your anger and your argument, things that you might have said that you can't take back now, but all you can do is go back and apologize and give it to God and ask him to take what happened that day give it to him and ask him to make tomorrow a brand new day because the more that the more that you worry yourself about you you consume the more that you consume your mind with what happened today and it just kind of builds up and then what happened tomorrow and that's on top of what happened yesterday and it kind of just add, builds up so you just need to let go at the end of the day and say you're sorry when you need to be sorry and not not dread over, not strain on the things that you might have said or done, and just ask God for forgiveness and to help you through the next day. The prayer for today is, Good night. I look at my past as being complete. I say goodbye to all the previous mistakes and misfortunes. I now stand on the stage of a brand new experience. I will keep the lessons learned as the troubles that I carry with me on this new adventure. Tomorrow will be the start of a new, fresh beginning. So that fits real good in with today's scripture. It's talking about you're, not only are you letting go of, of the anger and the mistakes in the past, but you're also learning from them and you're building from them. Um, and today, Joyce Myers was talking about love being one of the most strongest commandments, um, of course, following, there shall be no other God before me, um, but love uh, covers a multitude of sins. And so I think that also fits in today because how we talk to people and how we treat people is very, very important. And others see the way that we talk to people and the way that we react to people and they kind of mimic monkey see, monkey do. And I'm guilty very much of wanting to be that super Christian and wanting to be that peaceful, nice, wonderful person. And then I don't know what happens. My temper just blows up and I just go crazy. And then, you know, my kids are seeing it, my husband's seeing it, and everybody's like, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. At the end of the day, you can't let that bring you down. You got to bring it to God and let it go and just say, I'm sorry for how I acted. God, please strengthen in me that peace. Strengthen in me. Help me to control my temper. Help me to control my reactions. And so it's, it's, it's a day-to-day -day process. You know, there are days when I bite my tongue and I'm like, okay. But there are many, many days where I don't bite my tongue when I should have. And it, it, it kind of weighs on me at times. And it kind of makes me feel sad because I'm like, oh, after after everything's said and done and after I've spoken my mouth when I should have kept it shut 
I really regret the things that I've said and the way I acted. And then people see me act that way and they're kind of like, well, wait a minute. But at the end of the day, I just need to go to God and say, God, please forgive me and strengthen in me and help me, give me your strength, God, to not act, react that way and to bite my tongue when I need to bite my tongue and to react in a cool, calm manner and to listen more instead of overreacting and getting defensive like I usually do. So it's a daily process. We all have to work on it, but let's not beat ourselves up about it. And the quote for today is, carry a heart that never hates, carry a smile that never fades, and carry a touch that never hurts. That is really good and fitting with today because it's saying, even if you, you know, God says you can feel angry and you can feel that anger, but don't sin. Don't let it show. You can feel the sadness, but don't let it show. And so just keep a smile on your face. And if others see a smile on your face, they're not going to know what you're going through. You may be going through the worst storm of your life but you don't want anybody on the outside to know because that's something between you and God that y'all are working on and you don't want others to go down that path with you. And so you just keep a smile, keep being friendly and peaceful and give it to God. So that's all I have for today and I hope you'll have a great afternoon and stay sane.